Hey yo, it's me, Zeke 410, and today I gotta be the bad guy. Because I gotta I gotta address something that's been bothering me for a long time. I'm a part of a lot of Facebook groups. I'm a part of Reddit and the WWE champion scene. And one thing that I always see is so much hate. So much hate for a specific type of player. And my, 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 my schooling note today is this. Don't hate, but appreciate your pay to play players. I see so many people just, you know, they enhance their people. They pull somebody great. They pull Macho Man. They pull DDP. They pull Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then there's so much hate. In the comments, it's so sad. Oh, you're a hacker. Oh, you're a whale. So, excuse my French. So the fuck what, yo? Okay, if a person chooses, if they have the money, you know, Compi said it best. Either you got the money, you know, the spend. You got, you got that bank that you can drop that money to pull somebody. Or you don't have the money and you're running risk every single time. That is your choice. So to those players that are trying to be online wise guys, hating on people who spend their hard earned cash, their gift card money from Christmas or birthdays or holidays, etc. Hell, scratch off money. What is that to be your business? In the famous words of rock, know your role and shut your mouth, yo. If somebody drops $100, if someone drops $20, hell, if someone drops $5 and pulls DDP or pulled Stone Cold Steve Austin and they're allowed to do this tour just because they spent the money and they got the superstar, who are you to judge them? Who are you to be upset that there's an extra tour on there? You just don't play it. Simple and plain. It's, it's it's nothing new. It happened in the story mode, okay? There's certain superstars for certain nodes that you need. So why are you going you you you're happy when you pull them, but you bitch about when someone else gets something. And if you pulled the superstar, you wouldn't be saying nothing at all. So to all those online bullies out there, stop trolling, yo. We're cool you know, we're a cool, calm, great community, great players. We got great teachers and like guys like Gearson and Lil C and Big Papa Bry, okay? You got a lot of people out there like cool dudes like Tuvman that are dropping these podcasts to help you out. And there's so many things that Scopely has done. The dude, Eric, on Twitter, you know, he is a warrior. He has thick skin. I salute you, dude. And that's why I got to make this video. They make these things. Now, there are some things that they do and they've done in the past with the past is the past and uh, and some things didn't work out but they're trying something new that's going to benefit you not only do you get to pull a brand new superstar to add to your roster but you also get a tour to enhance that superstar with duplicate tp so you save your resources why complain if you didn't pull them if you didn't even want the superstar what's it matter to you and the thing is a reason why you need to really appreciate your pay-to-play players is this, okay? If a pay-to-play player puts the money down and they get that kind of access, same thing with the VIP, who are you to judge? You know what I mean? Who are you to judge? That's like a few bucks. Plenty of people cop Shane O'Mac contracts. Who are you to judge? Because the reason why I say don't hate but appreciate is for this simple reason right here. If you look at the rewards, right? Those rewards you get, level up packs, Shane O'Mac contracts, enhance packs, that comes from one of your teammates buying something. So how are you going to bitch about somebody pulling somebody good because they took that risk of spending that money? But at the same time, you're expecting to keep getting all these free bags. For real, though? You going to bitch about somebody else from another faction pulling Rand, uh, Randy Savage Macho Man. You're going to bitch about somebody pulling George the Animal Steel. Bitch about someone pulling Doink the Clown. Bitch about someone pulling UF Saf, AJ Styles. The list can go on. 
but you still expect free bags. And those free bags only come from one of your teammates buying one of those type of packs. The same type of pack that they use the cash to pull for a superstar. Irony. So you appreciate a free handout. Now, peep this. You're mad because there's an exclusive tour for DDP or Stone Cold Steve Austin and maybe possibly future superstars if you don't hurt Scopely's feelings and stop being disrespectful and appreciate the blessing that's been put forth for those who actually went for it. You're mad about that. But you want you expect to keep getting free superstars like Shawn Michaels. You expect to keep getting free superstars like Arn Anderson. Or even take it even further. You expect to still get an opportunity for the su featured superstar for a feud. A featured superstar for the leaderboards. You still expect that, right? But you're knocking somebody for getting a free tour from getting a, from the reward of gaining a new superstar for their roster that better benefits their faction to help them out in more ways than one. It don't make sense to me. I don't rock like that. And so I just got to address that. Y'all got to stop that hating because it goes both ways. They might be some, some it don't matter. It's not your pocket. It isn't like they're taking $100, $50, et cetera, and taking it out of your wallet. No, they're going out of their wallet and they are doing what they feel is best for his or her faction. And you get blessed with those bags. Same right here. These tokens popping up for faction feuds. You like the feud, right? Somebody has to drop money in case y'all want to continue feuding. They're going to drop that bag. They're going to drop that money for that pack so you can get that bag, so you can get a couple more tokens in, so that you can feud and you can heal your people up and you can keep going to war. Stop hating, yo. There's no point of hating because even if you're free to play, I've made videos that help you out on how to do shit free to play. It ain't hard. You got dudes like Stardust. You got dudes like Bray Wyatt. Dudes like The Miz. They're all free-to-play players. You know what I mean? Shawn Michaels shows up once in the blue moon. Good free-to-play player. It's a grind. Even if those people pay money, they still have to grind. They still got to do verses. They still got a feud. They still got to farm. You know what I mean? So stay out of somebody's pocket. And stop being so damn ignorant. And appreciate the blessing of the pay-to-play player. Because if there weren't no pay-to-play players, you wouldn't be getting any bags. If there weren't any pay-to-play players, you wouldn't be able to have that guy that comes through in the, in the clutch and the feud to finish off that three-star for you. So appreciate your pay-to-play players just as much as pay-to-play players shouldn't look down on free-to-play players. Everyone got the right to an opinion. But just because you got a mouth don't mean you got to speak every single time something happened. But I felt it was necessary to do this. I'm usually real chill, but that's got me. It's got me upset because it gets to a point where enough is enough. Yo, we're a great community. We're we're families. Factions are families. Don't hate on another faction or another faction member for doing something that you got a faction mate doing for you. That's basically it, though. I'm sorry. I had to get out of my bad guy thing. I had to ooze a little machismo on it. But real stuff, don't be mad about it. Because like I said, if it was a superstar that you don't don't even want, then why do you even care? It's not even your money, so why are you even concerned about it? And look at the benefit of all those bags that you get as rewards. They come from your teammates dropping dough. And you aren't complaining. You ain't, ra you ain't you know, ragtagging them out. I'm probably pretty sure that you're not ragtagging them. So stop ragtagging somebody else. They're doing what they uh, they're doing what they feel is best for his or her faction. Respect that. They are players. They are committed to this game just like you and I. Stop hating. Appreciate all players and stop worrying about someone else's account. Focus on your account though. Get yourself right, all right? Cuz I want you to succeed. But being bitter and being hateful towards others just because they've been blessed or have the opportunity to pull for superstars. And by doing that, they're given access to certain things. If you're dropping dropping a couple of dollars for that VIP, you don't even have no right to say nothing. If you drop money on a, on a level up pack or a Shane O'Mac contract or anything like that, low tier stuff, you have no right to say nothing. 
because you did what you felt was best for you as well as your faction, just like those big spenders, those people are doing what they feel is necessary for what is this game. So that's all I got to say. I'm, I'm sorry that I went uh, went off in a little bit too deep, but it's something that had to be addressed. Appreciate your pay to pay play your pay to play players just as much as play, uh, pay to play players should appreciate free to play. Okay, we're families. Okay, factions are not all pay to play. Um, the factions aren't all free to play. Some factions are very blended. So stop the hating and appreciate what you have. Appreciate your teammates that are dropping that money. Respect the teammates from other factions that are doing what they feel is right for their uh, for their advancement, for their rosters, and to help further their progress. So be blessed. I'm Zeke 410. It's all love. It's nothing but love. Make sure to like, dislike. Make sure to subscribe and please hit that bell icon so you can get future WWE Champions content. And with that, I'm out. Peace.